what's up y'all it's your girl xl sims welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here please go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell like the video all of that and yeah we're gonna get right into it y'all i'm super excited about the 100 baby challenge um i actually started a 100 baby challenge like a year ago my computer decided to crash out on me and i only had like two episodes but uh it's something i've always wanted to do um, mostly because even before I started like making videos and stuff, I used to always make my Sims have babies by a bunch of different people because I don't know. I just like to play with genetics. I like to see how the kids are going to come out. Like, I don't know. I'm weird. So I'm excited. We are here with Chloe Brooks. I ain't even gonna hold y'all like too long before we get into it. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about her, give y'all a little apartment tour, um, well, yeah, so as you can see, she already has a home. Um, I'm a rule breaker, so she's not going to have everything, you know, handed to her. But my girl has been through the ringer and she has worked hard for everything she has in this apartment. So I'm going to tell you all about her right quick. Um, and then we're going to get started. So this is Chloe Brooks, like I said, our beautiful Sim. Look at her. So I actually downloaded this Sim from Zurela. So shout out to her. Um... And I changed her name. I changed like a couple of her outfits, um, but nothing major. I didn't do any major changes. I changed her eye color and stuff, but she was already gorgeous. So I don't know. I wanted to play with her. So I'm excited to be using a sim. Um, a little backstory about her. She actually grew up in foster care. Um, she never really had a stable home. So she was kind of like, she, she was in and out of a couple of homes, but mostly just in the group homes, y'all like surrounded by other kids and whatever, whatever going through the different struggles. Um, she's always been a creative person ever since a young age. Um, she fell in love, you know, she likes to paint. She used to have a guitar. She had to pawn that, um, just to kind of get her apartment and stuff together. Um, She's big on making videos and content. She wants to get into writing. And she also loves yoga um, because like yoga and meditation were some of the things that really just helped her get through everything that she was going through. She's been pretty mature, you know, from a young age. And so it wasn't too hard for her to really kind of get out on her own. She has a very like entrepreneurial spirit. She was working, um, you know, prior to getting this apartment, but now she's kind of in this place where she's like, I want to be a full-time entrepreneur. She kind of just wants to pop out. She's moved really far away from where she grew up. So she just wants to get out there meet some people, of course, meet some guys, um, because she's definitely a lover girl. Um, and yeah, she does know that eventually she wants to have a big family because I think for her, it's just really important to have some children and just show them some love, some things that her and some of her peers that she was around growing up just didn't really receive. Um, so I don't know that she thinks or realizes like, oh, it's about to happen right now <laughs> with the whole baby thing. But we're going to see. She would be happy to have kids. So um yeah that's a little bit about her I'm gonna show y'all like um her aspiration right now oh wait y'all hold on let me get this right because she ain't supposed to have that much money let's do that all right we're gonna start her with 500 but anyway so oh what the hell did I just do oh I just put that yoga mat in her inventory we'll fix that later so right now her aspiration is romance like I said she is moved to a new city she does live in Evergreen Harbor um but you know she likes to pop out you know, whatever, whatever, go around to different cities and stuff. Um, so she wants to meet some people. She wants to have a good time. Like, and now she can finally do for herself and do what she wants to do. And so that's what we'll be getting into. Um, obviously she doesn't have a job. Um, she's got a couple skills. Um, she's really good at the guitar, but like I said, she had to sell her guitar. Um, she's really good at painting and I think her other main skill is yep wellness because that's really what helped her through everything she's pretty much removed everybody from her past life so the only person that she knows right now is her landlord for this apartment and let's get into her traits y'all she's flirty a woohoo lover and a seducer um she went through a lot of stuff but she knows she's a bad gal okay she's a yoga lover of course creative family oriented because you know, she just never had that. And so she wants to be able to provide that to somebody. User of only Sims. I forgot to mention that. It's another way we can make that money. Okay. And we'll be happy to have a child, alluring, lover, and caregiver. So she's got some good traits that should help us out. Okay. With this little challenge. And then yeah, real quick. Um, 
let's get into this apartment tour oh shit hold on y'all my bad um let's get into this apartment tour so we can just get started with everything after that so of course when you come in we are right here in the living room she's got the yoga mats um she wants to really build her instagram up so she can start hosting more yoga classes that's something she really wants to do to make some more money so she's kind of prepared for that she has another yoga mat but i just accidentally put it in her inventory um, she does not have a TV or anything, um, but she does have, you know, a record player. So she'd be in here vibing, um, but maybe eventually, you know, we can get her a TV. I don't know when she's going to have time to watch TV, but right here is her kitchen. It's pretty chill. Nothing major at all. Um, you know, she got a little snack, a little frappe, whatever. Really nothing special. Um, she loves pink, obviously pink kitchen, pink everything. Um, little art we'll go right here this is her bathroom it's really cute in here she's a plant girl i don't know if y'all puked but she had plants in the living room so she's got plants in here and then she's pretty much just got all you know your things you could need you know to get ready and everything else so that's pretty much that if we come wait yeah how the hell I end up back in the bathroom? If we come over this way, this is kind of like her work area. So this is like the main purchase that she has made um, because she did kind of have like a pretty big following on YouTube and other social media sites when she was younger because she would just kind of like express herself about her lifestyle and living as a foster child and stuff. So she definitely had to invest in this to kind of just take herself to the next level so she can get those royalties and everything. And then of course she has her easel because she loves to paint um easel won't really worth too much anyway so it's not like she could really pawn it to like make more money for the apartment um and then last but not least we're gonna get into her bedroom so it's super cute in here she got her little art her bed of course um bad bitch period and then she got a little laptop, something cheap. She wants to eventually get a desktop computer. I think she also wants to get a drone. She definitely wants to get another guitar. Um, oh, and another thing she really, really, really wants to get is like a massage table and chair or something. And she wants to put that right here because then she could start, she could start taking clients for that as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the apartment. So let's see. It's like 6.51 p.m. Um, so she kind of just been chilling all day, like getting herself together, getting the apartment cleaned up, stuff like that. But she, like I said, she does want to kind of like start popping out. Um, so she's trying to decide if she want to pop out tonight um, or just kind of get some work done and make some money. But I think she's going to pop out tonight. So what we're going to do is take a shower and brush our teeth. Um, so let's get that started because she might pop out tonight. And so, okay, the fun part about this, guys, is going to make it a little bit different is I created a spin wheel, okay? And everything on the spin wheel is basically telling her where her next baby daddy has to come from. So we're only going to be spinning the wheel um, when it's pretty much time for her to try to get pregnant again. So I think what we're going to do um, while she's in the shower is go ahead and spin the wheel y'all so that way when she gets ready we can see where she got to pop out to and basically the rule is if it's a location she has to choose the first okay she put an outfit on y'all she put that on period looking good um the rule of thumb is if it's a location she has to choose the first male sim that she sees okay the first one oh she's about to go view her painting yep she got to pick the first one. Um, so while she's doing that, let's get into this wheel spin because I'm kind of excited and I'm kind of anxious to get started and see what we end up with. So let's get it. Uh -huh. The moment of truth. Y'all, I'm excited. What we got, what we got, what we got. It's so... It's oh, oh. Brendleton Bay Park. Okay, that's interesting because I'm kind of like, oh, what the heck are we going to find out there? Well, let's go see. So, we're going to get right to it. It's 723. It's kind of late. So, we're going to get right to it. We're going to travel to Brindleton Bay Park. I don't know what the hell she might come across out there. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'll see y'all there. 
Yeah. All right, y'all. We are here. It's snowing. I don't know why I didn't put on her cold outfit. Oh, y'all. I'm over it. Okay. Well, no, I'm not over it yet. This is the first man that I see. This is the first man that I see. Aziz Nadir. So we're going to introduce ourselves to him. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I need you to stay here, my guy. Okay, he stopped right there. He stopped right there. Okay, we're going to chat it up with him. He's not so bad. I think he is a um, base game sim, but I gave most of them like a summer? little makeover. Uh -huh. Wait. At a glance, Chloe has a neutral attraction. Um, Sims become attracted or unattracted to others oh, based on their turn-offs and turn-offs. Okay. Sims will recognize some turn-offs and turn-offs instantly. Uh, so. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're going to see. Where the, where the fuck are you going? Is he leaving? Oh, he going over there. Why are you going to sit over there? I'm talking to you, my guy. Um, let's see. Is it weird if I go right into flirting? Like, romance, flirtation, flirt. Who is she about to talk to? Chat with Supriya. I'm trying to get right into oh, her. I'm trying to get right. Why is it not working? Okay, you're killing my vibe, Aziz, or whatever your damn name is. Is Aziz killing your vibe? Yeah, he is. Oh, I'm going to ask him to hang out. I'm going to ask him to hang out. Let's make it a thing. Oh, look, this dog is cute. <laughs> oh, all right, we're going to ask him to hang out first. He's tense. Like, I'm like, I can relieve your stress, big daddy. She's like, what's good? He's like, okay, I can hang out for a bit. Oh, all right, so stop walking away from me, boy. Crazy. Maybe I should, like, deep thoughts, share ideas. I mean, that's kind of a stupid random first thing to do with somebody. I'm like, why are you tense? Let's, 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 let's do a seductive compliment. Let's, like, dive right into this thing. He's not so bad. He's not so bad. At least the baby will have a little culture, you know what I'm saying? A little... A little mixy mixy. I'm not mad at that. I am not mad at that. Did he take the compliment? I'm about to ask him if he knows about. Yo, why you seem angry, my nigga? Like, relax the way you're talking to me. I'm gonna ask him if he knows about only Sims. Well, they over there flirting. Are they over there flirting in the back? I'm trying to get like y'all. Trying to get like y'all. Bruh, don't walk up. Don't walk up. Luckily for me, I have to remove any sim from a conversation mod because you're not going to interrupt my vibes. Yibs, yibs, happy yibs, yibs, yeah, talk to me nice. All right, what else can we get into? Okay, the flirting is working. The flirting is working. Okay. Let's exchange numbers. Wait, what happened? Flirt 10 times. Oh, well, let's run that up. That's easy work. That's easy work. Ask Aziz to join only Sims. Hold on, I'll do that in a second. I'll do that in a second. Um, he's feeling me. Look, he's feeling me as he should. Look at me. Yes, you should, sir. Wait, what did that say? Have a romantic interest. Okay, he's my romantic interest, y'all. Period. I feel like I'm leaving out one, like, kind of, um, what's it called? Something, like, you should do from the jump, and that's ask him if he's single. Where is that at on here, y'all? Do y'all know? I'm going to ask him about his career, too. Like, let's see if we can get up in them pockets, because if he's going to be our baby daddy, like, we're going to be in them pockets. Like, I'm not even going to sit there and cap about it, because why would I? I don't have a reason to lie about it. Okay. Did he do that or did that? Oh, no, that's what I chose. Embrace. It's going so fast. He blew a kiss at me, though. Okay. Talk about subscriber requests. You have the sweetest heart. Let's gas him up. Did he tell us about his career? Y'all, yeah, I'm bugging. He is a writer at Fighting Words. Oh. I don't know how much money they make. Okay. Aziz is feeling a romantic connection for Chloe and wants to suggest a date. Do you want this to happen? Let's do it. Because you're speaking my language. Let's make it a romantic date because I'm not really here to play around with you like he didn't even know that like i won't here to play around we're gonna socialize and be romantic physical intimacy we're gonna woohoo because why wouldn't we if we don't i'm gonna be mad and we need to get drinks because you need to well should we be drinking well i ain't pregnant yet so if we can't get a drink before i get pregnant well 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. All right. Should we stay out here? I don't know if I've ever been to this bar. And then there's a lounge. Bar lounge. Let's go to the lounge. It's a little bit more of a laid back vibe. A little romance. You know what I'm saying? At the lounge. All right, we're here at the lounge. Yo, now that I saw the bartender for like two seconds and he's kind of fun. Like, I'm kind of mad. That ain't about to be my baby daddy. Maybe eventually, maybe eventually. All right, let's get him back into the vibes. We're on this date. We got a limited amount of time. We got to flirt, talk about woohoo, and talk about drinks. All right. I know a lot of that stuff being small talk. I want to ask him if he's single. Share thoughts about woohoo. Love of Canathoy. Our romantic Support. satisfaction begins, period. Ooh. Bon and gravy? Okay. Friendly. Oh, yeah. Bonnie. I'm not trying to do small oh, talk, though. Nice. Talk about dreams. <laughs> How do I ask him if he's single, y'all? Because aren't y'all wondering? Because I'm wondering. Uh, and then we need to flirt twice. Can Kuba Koiba? That's the romance. Oh, so oh, yeah. Flirtation. Oh, Blow a kiss because he was blowing kisses earlier. Like, period. And we got to do light physical intimacy. <laughs> but we need some drinks. It's like he took me on a date, but I'm trying to get him turned up. But I do want to ask him if he's single or not because I still don't know. And I mean, it's not really going to change her goal, but it would be nice to know. Like... What else do you be doing with that Zuba thing? Like? Okay. Uh -huh. How do we find out? Ask if single. Oh, there it is. They see they switch stuff around with the new pack. Okay, my romance level is two because I'm softening this nigga up. If you're having trouble finding other single sims near you, hop on Cupid's Corner. Well, like right now, he's married. He's married, y'all. He's whole life married. And he's literally, like, a lot of times the sims will, like, act, you know, like, They'll try to push you away a little bit. This nigga didn't push me away oh. once. <laughs> and he's boy. married. Oh, on. Is that my business? <laughs> Not really. Oh, I'm going to first kiss him and we're going to go get a drink. But it's it's the audacity for me. Do they got a bar here? Oh, I was about to say. Oh, duh, because I saw the fine ass bartender. So I know they have a bar. All right. Let's go get you a drink, big daddy, because... Yo, I hope his wife don't show up. It's like, do you live out here? If you live out here and you're on this date with me in your city, you a wild one. You're really a wild one. Oh, this bartender. Okay, level nine. Is it wrong? No, no. I'm holler at him over here. I can't kick my own baby daddy's but like, sure, how I'm ordering the drink from over here, y'all know that's a lie. Okay, she's on the road to fame. Love it. We got to make sure we stay on social media. You know, sell our paintings, all of that stuff, so we can run it up. Y'all, my bad. I just remember that he's married, and he didn't even try to turn me down once. Like, my nigga didn't even try to be like, no, I'm married. Like, bro, you're sickening, but Chloe don't discriminate. We're not going to judge my girl. She's been through a lot, okay? She's been through some things. So we're not going to judge her, but we're going to judge him because he's the one that's married. He's the one that owes some lady somewhere, Valentina, whoever the hell that is, some loyalty. Yo, what just happened? With, what the hell was that noise? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's get this drink. And why are you not sitting beside me? Oh, see, he's scared Valentina going to pop up. This your city, ain't it? Is this your city? You scared Valentina going to pop up? You damn scoundrel. I'm going to flirt with you while we sitting down. We need to get some more light physical intimacy, but intimacy. I can't talk, y'all, because I'm caught up. I am too caught up. Should I introduce myself to the bartender? Am I allowed to flirt with other niggas, even if I don't make them my baby daddy? But the problem with that is, like, if we woo in between, like, okay, Baku or whatever your name is, you gotta go. Bartender, make the drinks. You get distracted. I know I look good, but fucking relax. Okay, we got our drinks. We got our drinks. Drink your drink, boy. Oh, we can talk about the drinks. We can talk about the drinks. I'm trying to find a little stuff to do so we can drink a little bit before we got to get back up. Small talk. Talk about indulgent drinks. Yeah, indulging them shits. I hope one of these hoes ain't Valentina. <laughs> no, that's Gita. And that's Blossom. Oh, shoot, Blossom. Even though I'm mad we're not sitting like right beside each other because that shit weird as hell. But the date is going good. I'm really like salty though that he didn't even try to tell me like he was married. Cause then if his bitch pull up, she gonna be mad at me. 
And I'm going to be like, girl, talk to your man. Because he wasn't even going to tell me. I asked him. And then, yeah, he said, yeah, but like, your mans was bullshitting. Drink your drink. Yeah. Let me see how you act when you get drizzy with it. All right. Girl, mind the business. Talk to the bartender. Don't act fucking thirsty around my, my new baby daddy. He don't even know he about to be a baby daddy. I wonder if he got kids, y'all. We can ask him that, can't we? How do we ask him that? Um, There's a way to ask people if they have children. Is it in this pregnancy and family? Ask him if he wants children. But how do I ask him? Well, I'm going to ask him that any fucking way because little do he know I'm plotting. Um... Let's talk about physical... Why, like, I hate that we're not sitting right beside each other. It's pissing me off. Talk about intimacy on TV. Oh, they're satisfied in their relationship. He said, I'd like having children, period. Because we, you got a wife, so we ain't gonna be, like, together. But you're gonna take care of this motherfucking baby. I can tell you as that right fucking now. Period. On everything I fucking love. Act fucking stupid if you want to. All right. What can we do? Let's do a passionate kiss. Let's get up and make out. Stop playing with me. I know I'm already irresistible, but just wait. That's the energy that it gives. He like, oh shit, Valentina don't even be on that. Yeah, Valentina ain't talking about shit. Play with another bitch. Okay. Let's do a seductive compliment. Wait, new romance dynamic steamy, period. Steamy as fuck. And then he gonna be thinking about me all night long, but after I get this baby in me and I ask for a couple of dollars, like, I ain't got shit to do with you. Tell your wife you had a baby if you want to. That's none of my business. Let's make a move. Where should we make a move at? Probably up here on the couches, right? Wiki. Let's get right to it, though. I'm not gonna sit there and play with him. What we got? Whoa. Um, anyway, sorry. Some of them just the names be crazy. All right. I'm not even going to play with you. Because why would I? Why the fuck would I? I really want to invite him back to the crib. I think my, my, one of the traits for my apartment is on ley line. So, like, it gives you a little bit more chance of having twins or triplets. But eventually, y'all, we do got to run up her aspiration stuff because I want to get her enough points to buy the fertility um, trait. Yo, yo, if he fucking just walk the fuck away, I'm going to beat his ass. Use the condom. Why the fuck would you do that? Where you at, bitch? Ain't no part of you about to use a fucking condom. I hate to break that till you take it off. Period. It's off. Oh, On the game. Oh, and before it said that, look, 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 uh oh, looks like it broke. Okay, what you looking at, bro? Mister broke the sh broke the the strappy. <laughs> no, not the strappy. Cause y'all know what I mean. <laughs> not it, bro. Okay, we are gonna fast forward. I ain't gonna put y'all through this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As long as they keep it in that category. I need to know that it's in the right category for the kid. Bottom. What the hell does that fucking mean? In her butt? I need to know that it's in the right category because I need to get pregnant. Snacks, vaginal, yeah. That's why I really am trying to keep it. Like, I want to take it to the crib. TV, watch it. Okay, some of these, the way that should be is crazy. I'm really about to invite him to the crib. Like, Valentina, I'm sorry, but your mans isn't coming on. I mean, coming home tonight. I wonder who the fuck Valentina is. Like, who is your wife? Who is Valentina? Look, people keep looking over here when they walk by. Weak. What's he doing? Somebody was a bad girl. Oh, yeah. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, period, period, period. All right. What else do we need for the date, though? It doesn't count that as a woohoo, y'all. Damn. It don't count that as a woohoo. So technical. Romance, physical intimacy, woohoo here. Okay, because y'all being fucking extra. 
I'm trying to complete this date. Wait, slow it down, though. Slow it down. I'm trying to complete this date. Why did he change? Oh, because it's cold, and she don't care. She like, I'm too hot. What did he just change into? Oh, they're going to do it right there on the spot? Okay, bet. I'm here for it. And I wonder if this makes it possible for you to get pregnant. Because at the end of the day, like, I'm not here for this, like, oh, you about to be my man. Yes, what I love to see sometimes. I saw this notification in my other LP and I was pissed. Um, anyway, let's be affectionate. The day is on silver. I'm about to invite him to the Better crib. Right, maybe. Physical <laughs> intimacy? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Kiss him more. No, I ain't gonna lie, I think you can extend the date or like change the location. Uh, um, awesome. Wait, 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 where is it at? Uh, date okay. actions. Asked to extend. Uh -huh. It's 3 30 in the morning and Valentina, like, where my nigga at? <laughs> well, I don't know what race Valentina is, so maybe she shouldn't be saying that shit. But anyway, that's got nothing to do with me. I'm going to ask to change venue, and then we're going to take it back to the crib. They got a passionate romance. Chloe can take pleasure of up to... Okay, let's change the venue because we extended the date. More time for rendezvous, yes. Like, you want to take this party back to my crib? He like, hell yeah, Chloe. Fuck Valentina, I'm about to divorce her ass. I could ask her to divorce him and everything. Remember when they used to do that shit? I haven't done that shit in so long. Can you still do that? Like ask somebody to divorce somebody? Yeah, we might find out. All right, we here, we here. I ain't even gonna play with them. Let's, let's just go ahead and do what we gonna do, y'all. I mean, cause I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Well, Chloe is, at least. <laughs> She's like, well, shit, now that I got you back to the crib, you trying to do that thing that we just did twice again? He like, damn, I can't even get it out of Valentino one good time. Valentina be bullshitting, ain't it? I'm going my own direction. Period. Valentina be playing, so he at my crib. And I'm sorry, y'all. Chloe is bad. She oh. bad. They probably doing that little playful shit. shit. Yeah, the games. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to get y'all right to the mode I need y'all to be in. Uh -huh. Yep. Oh. Right into the mode. Why does he keep doing Oh, wait, because he has a wife. Well, sir. Or I'm not into that. That's not what I'm into. She's like, well, I like it better if you take it off. He like, well, shit. You on birth control, right? She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on birth control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna fast forward because y'all don't we don't we don't need to go through all that. But she's like, yeah, I'm on birth control. He like, all right, bet, stupid ass Mary nigga, stupid ass Mary nigga. And the fact that she lied, like I'm not even mad at her for lying because like, nigga, you Mary, you shouldn't be doing this shit anyway. Like, am I a savage? Yes, but should you be? No. So if you have one, like, okay, whoa. So if you if you end up having a baby with somebody random, that's really on you. Upside down. What? No, we're not doing that because you need to stay in one area. See? He keeps trying to use a Stop doing that. I'm not into that. You're really turning me off. Okay, bet, bet, bet. We took it off, took it off, took it off. Took it off. Yeah, we took it off. Cause I ain't gonna play with your stupid ass oh. I thought there was a way where you could control like um wait what they doing now because I know how he do okay 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 cool 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 actions see you won't let me pick okay we gonna have to just let them do it all right that's good that's cool that's cool we're gonna let them okay why is it going so slow i think because i had to stop oh wait they done that day period what is she look she thinking about babies and shit like eh, eh. it may not have been fire but it sure was a sweet day bitch it was fire the way we was getting it in was fire Ooh, we alone make a move that's unfortunate there doesn't seem to be anywhere y'all lying like hell or do we need to cool down a little bit? We might need to cool down a little bit. 
Rishi Panzo. Or we can pick a different location. Yeah, that might be the game's way of being like, bitch. I know I got enough animations. I downloaded like way too many animations for this shit to not be fucking working. What? Oh, it's making it seem like I can't do it with him. You wildin'. New personality trait, romantic, period. Because I'll pull your nigga, period, and will, and have done it. Episode one, took somebody's nigga, like... <laughs> There's a thing that I do. Yeah, I think it won't let me make a move because we gotta do, do the cool down. I need to turn the cool down cool down off. Can you put some clothes on Chloe? Kiss him away. No, some on. Please. Please put some clothes on. We had a good date with him. What else we gotta do? How many more times we gotta flirt with this nigga to complete um What is he talking about? Like nigga, shut up. <laughs> Like, I'm not even interested in what you're talking about no more. She got to flirt some more times. But I'm like, how long does he got to cool down for? Like, this is lame. Like, I'm really not with all that cool down shit. I just want to solidify everything and make sure that, like, we got what we needed from him. Knowing he going to be calling, even though Valentino's going to be like, where the fuck was you at last night? Nigga, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> Dive for thrills. What the hell does that mean? Ooh, try for pregnancy. Let's just solidify. Let's just solidify things. Ain't no need not to. Ain't no need not to solidify shit. On the game. He's like, again? He low-key like, I didn't even know I could do it this many times. Wait, what's the problem? Look, she thinking about a baby. I might could go ahead and okay, make a move, make a move. I might could go ahead and run the uh, the pregnancy test, but I just want to do it one more time just to make sure we good, just to make sure we good, okay? And then for real, she gonna have to stop after that because she need to pee, take a shower, and eat. And it's six forty five in the morning. It's six forty five in the morning, you guys. But like I said, she just moved to a new city. She was trying to pop out tonight. She did pop out tonight, and guess what she did? Turned up. And guess what? What what's his name again? <laughs> what is his name? Aziz. Okay. Guess what Aziz did? He popped out and turned up too. And see, now it's got me wondering if that lady that was at the park that he went and stepped beside on the bench. I wonder if that was his wife. It might have been. I mean, not that that's our business. We find out. Wait, if he don't stop putting them things on, like, sir. That's a, I don't know how many times I gotta tell you I'm not getting to that. And you like, look, I understand, but I got a wife, and she's like, yeah, but you here, but you're here. So let's be realistic about the situation. Can we be realistic about the situation? Because I'm more into the reality, and the reality of the situation is you ain't acting like you got a wife. If you want this, raw baby, real raw. Okay, that was explicit. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway. So we gonna run this up, run this up, run this up. We gonna run it up, run it up. All right, we just gonna let them enjoy that. I'm gonna check the scenery. Anybody out here vibing, kicking up dust? Wait, is it people over there? What is he doing? Oh, that's the damn landlord. He just be hanging out outside like a fucking creep. What? Why are they down here? <laughs> Where is he at? Oh. But see, I'm wondering how did they just end? Wait, I'm gonna try for pregnancy. I know I'm doing the most, y'all, but I could never fucking care. I could never fucking care if I was doing the most. If you don't like for people to do the most, then I don't think you're gonna enjoy my videos. Why is it not working? Yeah, it's not working for me to do that. So um she needs to pee okay we're gonna ask him to leave oh look she's going to pee any fucking way can we ask his ass to leave now okay send him home because why are you on my last time he thinking about kids that's what the hell how can he be calling me hey listen we need to we need a place to stay for a little while you can accommodate us right no your wife can't come in here she ain't about to be trying to beat my damn ass Let's take a shower. He talking about Shirley. He going, yeah, you should. Thank you, though. We had a lit time. 
All right, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get her some food. Matter of fact, we're gonna do a quick meal. I could make her order some food, though. But we're gonna have a quick meal real quick. And after that, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. We might go ahead and take this pregnancy test. Because I need to know. Because if we just did all of that and she's not pregnant, like, Aziz, you ain't hitting on nah, nothing. If we just did all of that, Aziz ain't hitting on nah, nothing. I ain't gonna lie. If she is pregnant, yeah. <laughs> We're off to a great start. But I'm gonna let her shower. And then grab a little bite to eat. Because I know I had my girl out all night. He didn't even feed her. Well, not food. <laughs> not food. So yeah, we're gonna let her eat. Why she put on a full fit? I mean, it is not 10 o'clock in the morning. Like, girl, is she not sleepy? She's not even sleepy yet. My sis be popping out. She probably used to not getting a lot of sleep. Like, being in that foster home with all them damn kids that she was with and stuff. Ain't no telling. She probably be up. Is she done? All right, y'all. It's the moment of truth. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. The moment of all the truth. Yeah. All right. It's the moment of truth, y'all. Let's see. Hold on. I'm not ready. Oh, it's got it blurred out because she's damn. We can't see the reaction. Hmm. She's not. Y'all. What? Ay, Dios mio. And see, I was hoping that she was because I was going to spend this day working, but we got to invite Aziz over again. Hope you took a nap, buddy. Because she's not pregnant. We got to get pregnant. How is she not pregnant? Like, I'm sick. Bring your ass out here, girl. Sit your ass down because you ain't doing nothing so you get pregnant. I ain't going to sit there and play with you. Where he at? Where you at, Aziz? Oh, he coming. He coming. He like, oh, you calling me back over already? It's like, little do you know, I got plans for you, boy. Don't tell me I got to invite you in. Boy, I'm the one that asked you to come over. Walk your ass in here. That's what y'all would do any other time. And don't you go there get on my damn computer. That's where he went, too. Let me let these walls down. Is that where he went? To the computer? Get your ass in here. Get your ass in here. I need to do something with you. I'm not really here to play around with you at all. But why wouldn't it let me try for pregnancy? I'm mad she's not pregnant. Like, they just did it like four or five times. Like, is he not shooting up nothing? He ain't got nothing to shoot with. Like, what's the problem? Look, he's like, yeah, bet, bet, bet. Like, how is the plant in the way? Okay, my bad, y'all. She's saying the plant in the way. Let's place it in the inventory because if that's what's stopping us, like, I'm sick. Um, her room looks so much cuter with the plant. Anyway, that's not the fucking point right now. The point is babies need to be made. Try for pregnancy. He better not ask me no crazy shit. Like to be his girl or something. Like, ain't you married? What? You gonna try to fucking play me? Oh, you gonna play me? I don't understand. So you gonna play me and then kiss me. Make up with your mind, disease, because I'm not going to sit here and fucking play with you. Yeah, bro. Come on. If you don't give me what I want, we're going to have a motherfucking problem. <laughs> and that's on everything I love. Kira. Like, don't come in here playing, like, because Valentina got mad at Aziz. Aziz? Act like you got some fucking sense and do what the fuck I'm asking you to do. Or we gonna have a motherfucking problem. You know what? Yeah. Hmm. Bitch, wake your ass up. I'm gonna make it easier for all of us, y'all. 
Because he's not about to fucking play with me. Wake her ass up. Wait, let's see what... Um, yes, Valentina was that girl at the park. And she's a matchmaker at Cupid's Corner. And she can't tell her nigga is wild. Wake her up and do what the fuck I told What's you to up, do. Tim? You gonna play around with me? I'm gonna play around with you, Aziz. Because we got goals for this situation. And it ain't your... It's not about what you want. It's ultimately about what me and Chloe want. It's mostly Chloe, but, you know, steady make out. Shut your ass up. Bruh, why I'm on at work, y'all? All right, let's see if it works. Oh, she was about to do some yoga. Walks a slang. She like, all right, bet. This is what I've been wanting from your ass anyway. Is it going to work, though? Because they keep acting like the plant was in the way. Let me find out something else is in the fucking way. Oh, she couldn't walk over there because of the plant? That doesn't seem realistic. <laughs> I'm going to try to make them do this a couple times because the fact that they're not already pregnant is blowing my mind. Like, And you know, I got this mind, so it's like possible that people can like go without getting pregnant. But at this point in my life, like, <sighs> they're playing with my emotions. And that's just the way that I freaking feel. That's the way that I feel. Because how they do it that many times that she not pregnant? It's sickening. It's sickening. Yeah, yeah. Damn, y'all. Well, they trying to make sure. Yeah, no protection was used. It better not have been fucking used. Y'all wake y'all ass up. Stop acting like y'all don't know what it is. She thinking about some water. And she was doing all that thinking about babies. See, the Sims be playing with you, making you ask to go get tested. Bitch, you should have thought about that before you started cheating on your wife. That's what you should have thought about then. Let's try for pregnancy again because y'all ain't gonna sit here and play with my emotions for the entirety of this game. Now I got shit to do. We got babies to raise and take care of and I want to see what y'all baby gonna look like. Chloe should start thinking about future education. Not if she can't do it online. Y'all be trying to make them go to class in person. If she's going to be raising these babies, she's going to have to stay at home. That's why she's an entrepreneur in the first place. Work from home, shawty. Period. So I'm going to make them do this three times. And then I'm going to send his ass on his way. What is he thinking about? Trying for baby. Yeah, you are. But it ain't even with your wife. And you feeling smitten by somebody else. Meanwhile, right, Valentina at the crib like, what the fuck is going on? Like, where my nigga at? Like, why he ain't here? Like, all of the above. Meanwhile, y'all got amazing compatibility and you hella attracted to her, but you over here. And this why, this why we don't cause niggas. Like, because look at how you acting. Look at how he's acting. It's ridiculous. Look at those little love bubbles. So cute. So cute. I know y'all need to wake the hell up. All right, my bad, y'all. One more time. Just for good measure, because the way they do, we could never fucking know. Wait, the way they do, we could never truly know. Okay, we're just going to do it one more time. And if she's not pregnant after this, I'm going to have to see if it's him or her. Like, <laughs> is it me or you? All right, and he can leave after this. Like I'm about to like take the control off of him and everything. Like he can leave after this, and that's on everything. That's on everything I love. He can leave after this. No protection was used. Period. As it shouldn't have been. All right, let's ask this nigga to leave. Send home, but he thinking about child shit, bitch. Play with somebody else's emotions, not mom, because you you can't even get a bitch pregnant. All right, y'all, we got the front row seat. Talk to me nice, Chloe. Look, she waiting, she waiting, she waiting, she waiting, she waiting. Oh, y'all, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know what that means. Wait, my bad, y'all. I'm all in the kitchen and shit. 
Y'all know what that means. Let's see. But we need to see it. We need to read it. Oh, come on now. Where is the shit at? Chloe is pregnant. There's going to be a new addition to this household. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm closer. Come here, girl. I'm excited. Does she got a little bump? Oh, she's got a bumpity, 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 bumpity. Yes, we're going to end the episode right here, guys. Okay, we fulfilled our goal. Um, sis need to focus on making some money and stuff. And well, first of all, she need to get her energy up and eat and go to sleep and all of that. But she also needs to focus on making some money. Wait, any preference? Chloe is going to have her first child. She has heard a lot about other families and their dynamics. Perhaps Chloe has hopes for a certain type of child. Chloe hopes for a son or boyish child, a daughter. Chloe does not have any preference. Let fate decide. Y'all, this is a tricky question. Uh, uh, I mean, I think it's nice to have a boy first because then you got that protector for the younger siblings. But at the same time, I mean, we're not going to be picky. I think we should let fate decide because we already had enough control over the situation in the first place. I mean, all that damn woohoo when we had to do. So I'm going to click let fate decide. Chloe has embraced the change of family preference. So we're going to let our girl eat and get nourished because she went through a lot last night slash this morning. Um, <laughs> oh, literally, she went through a lot. Um, I'm super excited, though, y'all. Look how happy she is. She's like, oh, my gosh, I'm preggers. So we're going to let her live her, you know, live her little moment. Um in the next episode, you know, we definitely gonna make sure she gets to the bag because she's about to have a baby. She's gonna have to let Aziz know that she's pregnant too. So we're gonna see kind of how he reacts to that. And yeah, basically making money, making money, making money. That's gonna be the priority. Um and yeah, at some point we're gonna have to go get an ultrasound so we can find out. I mean, I guess we can let it be a surprise. If y'all have any opinion on that, definitely leave that in the comments. Let me know if you think we should get the ultrasound or just let it be a surprise. He's, uh, I feel like either way would be lit. Uh, so let me know what y'all think. Uh, let me know how y'all are feeling about Chloe. What you think Aziz going to say when she tell him she pregnant. I'm thinking about his wife, Valentina. Like, shit about to get crazy because, huh, nigga, I don't know if you're going to take care of the baby. But you sure, I'm going to be asking him for some money. He's going to be running me that bag and we're going to get that child support. But anyway, y'all, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, which I wouldn't understand why you didn't, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like the video. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about the series so far. Episode one is down, baby. And until next time.